refrain from discussing their work with family members friends who are not complex employees. Divisions. It comprises of dozens of workshops, laboratories, warehouses, and archives, a cafeteria, a visitor center, and a recreation area. This is a real underground city, complete with its own transportation network, running high-speed cable cars and elevators for both passengers and freight. The network can be used to reach any point in our vast territory within minutes, without wasting precious work hours. There's no other way forward. We have to take it. Take it where? Petrov escaped while working in Vavilov's cold workshop. It would be logical to begin our search there. So, how do I get there? First, we need to get to the distribution center. This cable car will take us there. There's no other way forward. We have to take it. Take it where? Petrov escaped while working in Vavilov's cold workshop. It would be logical to begin our search there. So, how do I get there? First, we need to get to the distribution center. This cable car will take us there. You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful.
to tell you. Reboot the control system to reactivate the line. How am I supposed to restart the line? There should be a control panel nearby. <laughs> you don't say. We're now witnessing a glorious new era. There's the control panel. And of course it's locked. You guys just love these things, don't you? But this is a new one. A combination lock. Ugh, it'd take me a year to guess the combo. Look around. Maybe someone has the code. The schematic! Need to find the schematic! Uh... what was that? Something's gotta move! Anything! They won't go without a schematic! All stuck! No schematic! No go! Fuck me, he's alive! Schematic! Need a schematic! Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Why have you frozen just like everything here? They won't go! Nope! Won't go without the schematic! The dead have a residual neuropolymer memory, and are capable of communicating for some time after death. Holy fuck! A talking corpse! Please select the desired procedure. Stay here! 
me this silly. I need to find that piece of paper. There it is. The heck did it go? Oh, it's so dark! Charles. So this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. As it fades away, neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they gonna talk for? I can't say exactly. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes after death, the more corrupt the information becomes. We just I need see. To make it to the cable car so the stuff they're say. saying isn't always that important. Poor bastards. Oh, shit. A schematic. All stuck. No schematic. No go. Fuck me. Holy fuck. A talking corpse. We just need to make it to the cable cards facility. I'm a station master. I can get there with my This works. The cable car line is activated. Welcome, passengers. Please take your seats according to your ticket. Sorry, no ticket. We are ready to depart. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Off we go. Ugh, this tunnel's messed up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. up ahead. See it. We need to find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec off soldier. Not some civvy wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that.
was a surprise. I agree. You've got quick reflexes, Major. You bet. I wouldn't survive without him. That was a Barav, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Baravs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. such good care of those wonderful, powerful, brilliantly designed machines. And now, oh, the irony. What are you talking about? The Buravs, our finest product. What a shame. Did you know we weren't allowed to sell them abroad, Comrade? What's so ironic about that? Oh, it's ridiculous, really. I was a roboticist here. I was a Barav roboticist. When I heard the robots were attacking people, I rushed here. Wanted to switch mine off. So they chopped me up. I was killed by my own machines. The control pens got buried under the rubble. Now they're on their own, digging God knows what. Like they're sleepwalking or something. I wonder what they're dreaming of without us. Why is there a ban on exporting them? They're cutting edge city building machinery, that's why. Point them at the ground, and in a month, you'll have a complete subway system. Or any sort of tunnel. Subways, hell! It's the moon that we're going to use them for. Terraforming. So they're top secret, and their armor is tougher than a tank's. PTA plates unmarked. Cutting edge sites. Worked on the Buravs? From day one. Built just about everything in here. 
used to be no artificial sea, no fields, no forests or anything here. To say nothing of the cable cars, just mountain ranges. No, hardly anyone stops to think about what it used to be like here. And it's all thanks to my Borovs. We moved mountains, built the whole infrastructure. They're tearing down what they built. They've got no idea. A machine's mind is like a small child's, you know. It needs love and care, or it'll descend into confusion. I ever love crawling through dark ass tunnels. That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of facility 3826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hoof it on the surface. This is my stop. What a nice trip.